how it works in this one. Yeah, that's a, he has to be weary of uh, Zangief's close jump in range because a uh, jump medium kick, jump forward, kind of shuts down all of his anti airs. So he has to work the right angles. Ah, we whip punish twice. This is a very uncomfortable position to be in for Booker. Of course. This is not a comeback character, not a very <laughs> explosive character, and he's against the, a guy, Zangief, that can pull the trigger at any moment. Booker tries to take that, uh, that uh, Justin Wong mentality work. He'll try to let you work your way into damage. Hey, I like that mentality. WWJD. <laughs> get out of there. Couldn't, couldn't get out of there. So that guy's just picked like the right jump times. Every time he jumped, it was the right timing to do so. He makes such great choices as well as the perfect timing for those choices from moment to moment. He's really an incredible player. Red Take Folk is going to get things started here. Gets him with the empty jump low. Oh, SPD. You might get stunned. Don't get the hit next again. hit will do it. Don't get hit again. Oh, oh that's the match. That's quick work. Quick work. Ugh. Snake Eye's strong looking. He's a terrorist yep. of Street Fighter 4. He's scary. Yep. It's you can't even sit there and block against him. <laughs> that's not cool. That's not cool. That's scary. <laughs> I'm afraid. Right. I didn't play video games to be afraid, huh. Brandon. I play them to have fun. <laughs> escape. Can't play them escape. to have fun. Uh, you got Knuckle Dude to uh, Tampa Vice and AKA Booker. Knuckle Dude to his left, uh, trying to give him advice. Knuckle Dude has had some success against uh, Snake Eyes. Some recent success. Sna Snake Eyes never looks like rattled to me. He always looks like. He's poised. always smiling. Yeah, yeah right? Very poised. happy, happy go lucky dude, it seems. If I had a Zangief like that, I would be smiling a lot, too. <laughs> Just throwing that out uh, there. There I go. Put I'm going to do pretty well in this tournament. Smile. <laughs> Smile. Smile. <laughs> Cheese. Here we go. Snake Eyes up one. Temp, uh, Booker. Going to need to play a little bit stronger. Look out for those jumps. Yeah, he just presents a, a, a unique problem for Booker and M. Bison because you know, you're, you're able to move around the screen pretty much at will. You know, you're, you're able to be comfortable in that respect. But you need to score damage. You, know? uh, you need to make something happen. And when you do, you let Zengi into the place where he wants to be. Yeah. Already landed a jump forward. Jump forward is really strong in this matchup. He'll use his footsies to be able to walk in the range of a jump forward and then get the jump forward. And Bison just kind of has to take it. Uh, do what he wanted. Uh, no fair. Yeah, he's getting in his head now with that empty jump into the grab. Uh, that was so clean. Are you Forcing stunned? out bad choices. Forcing out bad choices here. Okay, here we go. No, no, here we go. We're done. Wow, just wake like up into the SPD just in case you want to give me a little bit of room to breathe. <laughs> I will suffocate you. Uh, make a Zangief one round away from advancing and winners. I mean, that's something that Snake Eyes would almost what never do. What was that? What yeah. was that? Exactly. He's, he's so <laughs> cognizant of these situations that he does things that it's, you know, he would never do outside of, well, I'm going to do it now. Why? Because it's the right thing to do, <laughs> obviously. Right time, Here it's hilarious. Oh, that the was clean. The jump back brown. The jump back fierce. Everything just looks perfectly placed, perfectly chosen for Snake Eyes, nice. making it so hard for Booker. You know, keep that jump in spacing right, you're going to eat a roundhouse. It's not a terrible situation for Booker. It's not a good one, but it's not a terrible one. Yeah. Ah, see, that's what I'm talking about. That's, that jump forward, scary. And that, Ooh. La that Ooh. Lariat and also his propensity to neutral jump quite a bit has uh, taken the statistic right out of his game plan. He's gonna good tech. This is one of those matches Bison really has to rely on medium kicking rounds. Yep. Even more. There you go. <laughs> more than uh, most others. Since his kicks are just not, not, as, not as useful. Now the terrible part is, even if he jumps in trades, he'll lose. You know, Bison, Bison will lose. I think Zangief could sneeze on him right now. <laughs> A little chunk of metal flies off. And that's yeah, 20 that's seconds too low. Yeah, block string. Snake Eyes made that look easy against uh, somebody who's been playing really, really well today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've been talking about how these how styles will come in 
to play and and with these two characters you've got two two characters as well as two players that are very comfortable uh, running down the running down the clock yep. waiting in for, for their in chill mode exactly yeah, yeah. right waiting for their opportunity yeah. right but uh Ooh. Zangief is going to get so much more explosive power off of it, and he's so scary in so many positions that it, it ends up making Bison have a really hard time. He has to change his game yep, plan a little bit. almost entirely. I mean, many characters have to do this against Zangief, but that coupled with the incredible reads that were coming out from Snake Eyes, it was just too much for uh, Tampa Bison. He's still going to move on and lose to Snake Eyes and winners. I, I, I'm, I'm chopping at the bit here. I just love this matchup that's on its way. Tell me why you love it, Brandon. 801, it's Daigo. It's, it's Daigo. 